I want you to look at what we're building and that we're going to finish it. I want you to look at the unobligated SERP monies because it's significant. Yes, ma'am. We've appropriated over $3 billion, and we have a billion and a half that um, has not even been obligated. And maybe it would be time to say we could do without that $800 million uh, for the next fiscal year. We won't, and, we won't spend a dollar that we don't need to spend, ma'am. That's my obligation to you, well, to the American people. It, uh, Senator, uh, I, I think uh, it I, might be something that would help reassure the American people that, you know, if we've got un obligated money that we've already appropriated, then maybe not asking for more would be a show of good faith with the American people that we're not going to be building things in Afghanistan that we really need to be building here that might not be sustained in light of the challenges that Afghanistan that, faces. That's a very fair comment, Senator. And I have identified money that I will not spend. Uh, I've done scrubs of Milcon. Uh, we, ha we recognize we're not going to obligate all of SERP. Uh, and we're going to make sure that we return that money if we don't need it. That sounds good. Senator, I just wanted to add my commitment to bring to you the, the, our, our plan for uh, FY13 and to, and, to, yeah. and to agree that we need to make the case on an item-by-item -item basis for the AIF for, those, for how they're going to fit, how they're going to be sustainable, and to say that I sit on the Afghan Resource, Resources Oversight Council for the department. I spend time on this. I agree we need to do better. We're working at it, and we appreciate your support and we appreciate it uh, with, for the department and in the field. Uh, we've got to do better on auditing. We've got to do better on contracting. We will continue to uh, continue to work hard on it. I worry that if we um, go down the path of new major reconstruction projects, that as we draw down, a consideration that you will have is not just the transition as it relates to the safety and security of our troops, but what will we have to leave on the ground for the contractors? That's right. Because I think we're going to end up with a situation like we did in Iraq. Um, that we found ourselves pulling and all of a sudden we looked and we still had tens upon thousands of contractors on the ground. And I just want to make sure that those two pieces are getting wetted together and we're just not going down the path with blinders on AIF, more reconstruction, not realizing that we could be in 2018 still building a dam uh, with, with minimal troops on the ground in terms of any kind of security protection.